Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it will be for May 2021 for the sign of Sagittarius. Remember, this can just be messages and it won't resonate with everybody Sagittarius, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, what do we have? What is the message for Sagittarius? Thank you. Message for our lovely Sagittarians. Message for Sagittarius, please, for May 2021. Okay, first card, Sagittarius. You're being told to go for your dreams. There is a dream, a wish. You're being told to go for it. I sometimes see that as aim high. Even if you think something is out of your reach, it's about going for it, is what I'm getting. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? What is the message from Spirit for Sagittarius? Oh my goodness. I, I love it when these cards come out, but it's very specific for some of you. So we have a mother's love. I feel they're telling you to go for it as well. So we have a mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. Isn't that lovely? Okay, Sagittarius, let's pull you another card. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Sagittarians. May 2021, thank you. What is the message from Spirit? Wow, 33, the three is a master number. Do you look it up? It represents the Trinity, divine blessings. Um, soul fragments. Balance will be restored. You're being told to go for something. Balance will be restored. And what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Okay, your cards are falling out quickly. We have Cow. Give with unconditional love and grace. Archangels Raphael and Mary. I also feel you're being shown that, actually. I do, with some of these cards. You're being shown unconditional love and grace, blessings. So I'm going to pull three cards, Sagittarius. First card is the message from Spirit. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please, angels, spirits, guides? What is the message from Spirit for Sagittarius, May 2021, please? Message from Spirit for our lovely Sagittarians. Thank you. One more shuffle. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Starting with the message from Spirit. Thank you. Two cards. Judgment. Queen of Swords. Wow, I, I, you know, I felt this might come out. The sun, yeah. Three of swords. <laughs> you are bottom of the deck. I did look, so I'm going to put it down, Sagittarius. I don't always. Wow. So we have balance will be restored, soul fragments, we have the awakening of the soul here, and we have the sign of balance with the Queen of Swords. Yeah. You're being told to step into your light. Sometimes this can be a judgment call. What serves you, what doesn't? Where do you need to bring that sword out and cut cords here? Uh, Queen of Swords deals with truths of situations and can make judgment calls in accordance with truth. She deals with truth. She holds the sword of truth. Um, she is all about fairness and balance. 
she establishes balance between the heart and the mind so it feels i mean there could be some judgment call that you're making here but there's powerful awakening energy here at sagittarius we have awakening awakening with the sun two awakening cards a powerful awakening within you and it's it's with the judgment card it can be a card of letting go forgive what needs to be forgiven uh, but it's a form of release but maybe some decision that you're making it can be there's two paths before you and uh, you know you're deciding which is right for you and which isn't right for you now because it feels like you've got to that point where you're ready to overcome some kind of challenge, a block, um, and step into your light. The sun is a card of good news, celebration, joy, happiness, and divine energy is shining on you. I will also say that the Queen of Swords with Judgment is, is a card of karmic protection as well. But there's definitely this energy of... Good news, celebration, joy, happiness, positivity, feel good energy, new growth energy, success energy is ahead. And that's what you're being told. Everything becomes clear with the sun. So any judgments or decisions that you're making, you're making with full clarity. Uh, but it feels in this situation, Sagittarius, you're ready for some kind of rebirth. You're ready. This is a call to action card, the judgment. Now is the time to take action. To, and I'm definitely feeling this energy. If you're dealing with some truth of a situation, this is really what is going to bring balance to my life and what isn't helping bring balance to my life. You know, there's an energy of bringing down that sword and cutting away that which doesn't serve you anymore. And you're being told to go for your dreams here. Beautiful energy. Because the Three of Swords, and I feel this is the energy that you've been dealing with, and she deals with truth. There could be a difficult truth that has come to light that has hurt you deeply. There's levels to the Three of Swords cards. It can be anything from disappointment, emotional pain, third party situations, heartbreak, a difficult truth that hurts you deeply. Um, Whatever this is, in whatever context, there is the time to take action and decide what is for you and what is not for you now. How are you going to take action to restore balance in your life? And that is what the energy is asking you to do. It's time to focus on the forward, on the future, on going for your dreams, because there's an opportunity to come through the other side of that wall that the child and the horse have come through. Um, and release. This is a card of liberation. The Sun card can be a card of by letting go, you are stepping into your light and embracing the positive energy ahead. Uh, good news, celebration, joy, happiness, feel good energy. It changes your energy, the Sun card. It's a card of restoration, healing, feeling good, stepping into your light, your power, with full clarity on where you're going now. So I'm definitely getting there's a lot of clarity coming your way as well. We have temperance, which is you, Sagittarius. You know, when you temper metal, it becomes twice as strong. Definitely feel some experience that you've had here. Um, you're getting clarity on how you want to deal with it now. You're getting clarity on where your focus is in terms of your dreams for the future. And you're understanding how you're going to restore balance in your situation. And this is about feeling self-love, being open to good things coming your way. You know, the child's arms are completely open to receive, you know, and it, it comes after, it feels to do with a situation of release, letting go, stepping out of this darkness. Temperance is a card of finding the way forward. Uh, it's a card of balance, getting balance back in your life, taking steps to getting balance back in your life. Just where there may have been, sometimes you see fire and water in each of those cups. 
you know, and it's almost kind of like there could have been an extreme situation, polarized energies, but you find the way through the middle with temperance. You find how to steer the ship forward through what could have been extreme, uh, extreme polarities. And this is about just finding your flow again, restoring balance, taking the steps that you need to do and understanding, actually, because this is about blending as well. What blend of life ingredients you want now? You know, what are those hopes, dreams and wishes? You know, how have your beliefs changed from the experiences that you've gone through? This can be about resetting, re-evaluating, you know, your beliefs, what you hold dear and what you want to focus on now moving forward. So it definitely feels for some of you, you're ready, certainly with that Sagittarian energy for new experiences, new adventures as well, and ready to put something finally behind you. But it feels like there is some decision, a judgment call, a call to action that you're being asked to take here. Um, and it's to do with the rebirth. You know, we have the rebirth energy with the sun as well. I am being reborn. I'm stepping into my light. I'm open to receive and I'm putting whatever difficulty I've had behind me. Very lovely energy. So I'm going to pull a final message. You're definitely being told, go for your dreams. I definitely feel somebody for some of you may be telling you to do that. Um, and that's where your, your focus needs to be. What is the new adventure here? Where do I need to focus on beyond the immediate horizon? Because that's where my future lies. And again, this 33 energy, you know, balance will be restored. I love the fact that the Queen of Swords came out there. So Sagittarius, the final card, stand up for what you know is right. We are supporting you. Lovely energy. Number 27. Yeah, lovely energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Sagittarius. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.